How you doing tonight, Bobby? I thought I'd just make a video. It'd be easier than typing some words to you. I'd rather show you what I have to offer than type it because it's sometimes words get lost when you're trying to spell and whatnot, you know. And uh, before we get started, uh, I send my prayers to your wife. I hope she's doing better. Um, God bless you, brother. God bless you. Um, which you're talking about with the loud booms in Michigan and don't forget the earthquake that was up in the UP it's actually glacier rebounding okay and this has got to do with the grid fault line too okay um, when the ice received back north all the pressure that it pushed down upon the earth it let up like a sponge does when you push down on a sponge and you take your hand off the sponge it lets go and push up that's what the earth's doing that's glacier rebounding it's not yet in the history books okay you're, you're actually going to be one of the first ones that's gets to hear this and right now the pressure is letting up around the great lakes area bobby that's why you've been seeing all of them emergency route, route signs been put up all around the great lakes i don't know i'm, I'm pretty sure up there in alpina where you're at they've been posting them there too post them in Canada all around all the Great Lakes they're posting emergency routes away from the Great Lakes and that's because and you know this Bobby that the Great Lakes are six feet below level right now six feet so that's not only is the pressure from the retrieving ice that was there pushing up it's because it's not there no more the Great Lakes are upheaving uplifting because there's less water and that's what's going on and that's another reason you'll see a lot of strange uh, lights in the sky because of the gases being released and we're so far north it's kind of like looking at the aurora sometimes and uh, you ain't the only one brother that has helicopters over his house okay let me tell you it's 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 you know what's going on and and the helicopters your phones you're you know and that's because you're telling the truth you're you're you're, you're, you're getting close to the truth now as far as the tr3 that you shown and the ufo well there's a story for that too but i won't discuss that right now because i had another youtube channel and it got shut down from telling the truth and I don't want to reveal too much because I want to keep this channel up as long as I can because people need to be warned about what's about ready to happen. Okay? And all this water from the Great Lakes is going to let up. And most of it's going to go down to Mississippi all the way to the Gulf of Mexico. And 350 miles on each side of that is going to be totally wiped out. Not counting around the Great Lakes areas themselves. The higher up around the Great Lakes, you, you know, you might have a chance, like up by towards Iron Mountain or whatnot. But Ohio, Illinois, parts of Indiana, Wisconsin, Iowa, all the way down. You know, that map that you've seen before where the, the, the country divided in half, that's true. That's a true map. Just like God said, he will divide the country right down the middle. And he's going to divide the country right down the middle. Exactly what he's going to do. Just like he said he was going to do, Bobby. Anyway, I just wanted to sit there and make this video to you and tell you what's going on and why you're starting to see the earthquakes in Michigan, why you're seeing and hearing the loud sounds and the uplifting. That's what's going on. The Great Lakes are uplifting because the glacier are rebounding. The pressure's not pushing down no more upon that and it's letting up and that's what happened here with the Madrid fault line at the time that that happened when that erupted that's that pressure let up at that point in time and now it's up here in Michigan and around the Great Lakes area in Canada and it's not good I'm telling you it's not good and I was wondering you know there's there's you're up that way I I uh ain't had the chance or time but I don't know if you'll get the chance of time or not either but 
hang on a second, sorry about that. Find my bearings here. Up here by the Osavo River, this Air Force base as well. It's it's a private, a public Air Force or Air Airport now, public airport. Excuse me. And uh, I was wondering if you ever get a chance, if you could go check this out and see if these are United Nations planes. Because I do believe these are chemtrail planes from the United Nations, Bobby. And you're so close right there. Maybe you can give us a better picture if these are United Nations airplanes. Because I know, I do believe that they're flying out of this airport spraying, spraying chemtrails on you and your family, your wife. <laughs> and they're sick, you know. Chemtrail spraying is just a sick. But I do believe these are chemtrail planes. The United Nations and if you could ever get a chance to check that out I appreciate it and uh, I appreciate everything you do Bobby I really do keep up the good work keep fighting for the truth for the people God bless you and your wife and like I said my prayers are with her 